Hello world, how's it going? Got a hat on today, crazy hair day. Figured the hat would make it easy. So finally, gonna let you guys know what I'm doing with this new water change system and how it's gonna work and what it's gonna do and all that jazz. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for it. A lot of you guys have heard about it. So we'll let some of you guys roll in here and then we'll get going on the what we're actually going to do. Let's look at some shrimp just for a second. You got some fire reds down there. Hello all you guys in the chat. Neon Tetra Aquare. Gold Nugget Pleco Tetra. Bird Fish Keeper. Valley Fish Cost. John Willis. Gold Nugget. Fur Master. Alright. So here you guys can see I've got a bunch of parts spread out. And what I'm using is a PEC system. This is going to be for the intake. And I'll explain that a little bit later. And as far as the outflow system, this is what I got going on. I've got these tubes. This is a uh, vinyl tubing. Shimmy Whiskey throwing out the super chat already. Good to see you too, buddy. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. But I've got some vinyl tubing in here. And it goes in there. I'm going to have this stainless steel mesh strainer around that for when it comes in. I'm still waiting for them to come in. Like, there's thousands and thousands of parts to this whole system. So, I've, I've got a lot. I'm still waiting to come in. But, essentially, all I have to do now is turn this valve. Once the, the siphon's done completely, once, it'll always stay that way and I can turn this down. That's why I had to stick the valves underneath every tank as far as the water line. If I had it higher, it would only go to a certain length. Now, I'm in like the worst room for service right now. So what happens is like all these three tanks, they'll go into this one gutter system right here. Where I've got this attachment I can put onto it and it'll go into my drain barrel. Which I'll show you guys that a little more too later. Right now, I've been working on the... Uh, 20 long 20 by 20 tanks as you can see they look totally neglected they look absolutely horrible my fish room looks horrible everything's a mess so it's hard to shoot other videos but i've come in through the utility room i've already got that one done up there this is for the next row and i'll kind of show you guys how easy this stuff's kind of to work with and all that stuff like, I wish I had time to make a real video and good quality for you guys for this, but it is what it is. I'm in a time crunch because if I'm not doing my regular water changes, all the tanks are getting neglected. So, i got weeks of work, so I'm putting this together and all that. So, it all takes time. But, I'll go ahead and show you a little more. I've already got it ran into here. So, this is going to go to this rack over there. That's all ready to be ran over into over here, which will go all the way around, all the way across. I'm going to end up moving this tank and have a smaller tank, like a 14 up here. Yo, yo, everybody in the chat. Now I got a piece for right there for this main tank. Then the uh, fish room, I'll end up getting into there. That's going to hopefully be done next after the guest bedroom. I'm waiting on tubing, hopefully get it tomorrow. I've got like one three quarter inch stick left that I can work with today. And hopefully I get the guest bedroom done with it. This is for the outtake. Like these are all the valves for the outtake. I bought every single one Home Depot had online. Like they didn't even have enough. These are all suction cups for the outtakes so that's all outtakes bunch of parts pieces pvc pex parts this is what all i've already been through like i said thousands and thousands of pieces so now you can see i've got it all ran through here i'm gonna end up putting one in the uh foyer i'm thinking about putting the 180 right here the 180 gallon it fits perfectly in between this cubby here which i think that would be just awesome come in and see that huge 180 right there i think that would be cool and then it goes on up and i've got my valve so i can shut off dirt 
uh, different sections, different racks. I've got valves, main valves all over the place. So I'll end up hooking into the main over here. And here I'm going to have a huge 3,000 gallon per day RO system. So with that, what I'm going to be able to do is I'll have my hot and cold into a temp controller. And it'll be digitized. And then I'll have a way where it could just be hard water. And then I can shut that down, bypass it into the RO unit, and have soft water. So I could either do blends of RO and hard water, or I could do all RO and do all soft water. So I'll have total control for that, which will be sweet. I've got the whole garage done. Someone said lost audio. Hopefully it comes back. I only see one person say that, so that's good. So here you can see the uh, utility rooms all finished and all I got to do now if I want to add water to a tank is flip the switch, boom, done. Which is going to be sweet. So I can water change anytime, any kind of water that I want, which will be just a dream, absolute dream come true because, yeah, like it was... It was absolutely do or die for me at this point because of the time. And it was like I was going to start losing everything because I wasn't able to maintain everything. So I had to throw like everything I had into this. And it's, I'm glad it's happening. I'm glad I was forced to do it. Like I can't wait for it to be done. That's for sure. Golden Nugget Playco, I did get your email. I don't have the Blue Glarus yet. I'm trying not to focus too much on selling stuff and doing stuff right now besides this project just because this project really has to get done in a timely fashion. And I'm hoping to have it done in like two weeks so once this project's done it'll be rock and roll on everything like I'm going to be able to move plants around in my tanks say they get all cloudy from moving stuff around clean up the water just then and there like that like I, I can't wait like the it's it's really gonna put it to a whole new level to me it's kind of like a video game you know how where you save all your ducats you skip like a few grades of uh upgrades and you try to get that one ultimate upgrade that's what I feel like I'm waiting on right now six thousand sub face shave face no way dude okay yeah what's up with spicy whoever friends with spicy tell them to find me on Facebook He's been blocked on my channel. I hope he hasn't been blocked on my channel. Spicy's my dog. Alright. Now I'm going to show you a little more on this outtake too. So here's on my big like 125. You see this? Uh, it's a inch and a quarter hose. So this is... this. I've already emptied the water once and it does it super quick. Three quarter inch ball valve. But what I actually did, I ran the hose instead of just like putting it over here I ran the hose the whole length of the tank so with the outflow system the beauty part about this is I'll also have like a vacuum system so I can unhook it from here if I need to and vacuum up around the tank and clean anywhere I want which will be freaking sweet and this whole garage section is completely done this is the only section where I actually had to put the intake valves on the front plate because I'm going to end up putting stuff up there. But like this one's got it on this side. This rack was one of the hardest. Some of these racks can be difficult because of just how they're set up. Like, like hardly any of my racks are the same. But yeah, it's going to save me a ton of time, give me tons of options. And I'm super stoked. Super duper stoked. So let's flip you guys over. I was going to run through this with you guys on another video. That's one of my sump, tump, sump in, uh, media filters that I used out on my pond. It's kind of a DIY. I'll be doing that here once I get a little more time for you guys. But let me show you guys a little bit. I'll show you guys how this works real quick too. Let me get one of these attachments. Shut that off. 
I don't know where this attachment is. Let me see. Hmm. I know there was one in the garage. I'll read the chat real here, real quick. Lucas, how are the CPDs and Blue Dreams doing? Blue Dreams are doing okay. CPDs, they're all doing good. They're all getting big, growing out. Show you some CPDs real quick. They just need a water change. They need water changes. And I've actually, this rack needs redid because I didn't do it right. See, this doesn't go all the way over. I didn't put anything in between, which has been making a big difference. So I got to build a whole new rack, swap these over, fix this rack, put in the pieces where they need to be, and then redo that. But okay, here we go. ADD. Sorry, I may, must, may miss some uh, questions too. Foo. Any going to be for sale the Blue Glorious? Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Once I get this done, like, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. It's going to be freaking on. Alright, so here's the attachment. Simple little PVC piece. Glued together. Let's see, which tank? I don't think any of them have a siphon yet. Besides, this one has a siphon. It's alright, down. Make sure I don't suck any fish up. Oh, 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 oh. Well, never mind. Forgot I can't run that because this is still open here. Just made a mess. But anyways, you can see it works. It's just I need to finish it. Okay. Well, just made a mess. That was for you guys. But either way, you guys can see how I'll go through the gutter and everything. And work. So I guess I'll just show you how simple this stuff is. It's just a lot of parts kind of like a puzzle so I mean you get it to where you want and simply you just crimp these rings on and you want to kind of get it more like that instead of close like this but it'll still work yeah oops I know right um and if you mess up you just cut these off I mean, it's really pretty simple. It's just putting tubing. It can be intimidating if you don't know what it is, but really it's just like Legos, crimping pieces together. You got ball valves. And yeah. Now I feel like I need to clean this mess. Well, let's see. You guys got any questions about the water change system? I think I pretty much covered it all. Let me go get a towel. I wish I could have gotten some of your shrimp for outside this year. I know they would look amazing. Yeah, shrimp do great for outside. I'm surprised this live stream's doing this good with me going through each section because usually it's just horrible. And this this phone is a 1080p. I don't know why it always comes out at four or whatever. I guess I would love to purchase those. Yeah, a lot of people are looking for the Blue Dreams. Or the uh, Blue Glorious, Blue Dreams, Fire Reds, all those. I will have them available again soon. Like, if I had a choice, if I had a choice, I would actually uh, turn my website off right now. But, I mean, I, I've been pretty quiet. A lot of reasons why I haven't been posted to is like out of sight, out of mind. So I knew people wouldn't order as much if I wasn't on and like in the public's eye. But it's kind of hard to tell you guys not to buy from me, you know, because I do got to fund this project somehow. Good thing about water is it dries up. Why did you do brass tees? Why not PVC tees? Just curious. Regular PVC will not hold the pressure of a water line they actually they don't use pvc in housing like the pec system is what most houses use now but i'll show you like if you look in the uh drains they're all copper like all the inlines are copper but the outs are pvc so pvc is good for drainage but you can't use it for the pressure of a house line in the city because it would blow the joints out so that's why you have to use the brass tees 
Awesome that you had the options for different kinds of water. Yes, that's going to be freaking amazing. Like any tank, anywhere, however I want it. Dude, it's going to be awesome. Dream come true. <sighs> Let's see. But yeah, I do need to keep rocking and rolling on this. I'm hoping to get this whole rack done today. Hopefully, with my last pipe, I can get it linked into at least the main fish room. Tee off to this one. Hit this up. We'll see. We'll see. Any last questions before I go? Why not use shark bite fittings? Much easier. That's Oh, the uh, shark bites, the ones that you plug in. See, these are shark bite brand. It is all shark bite. They are the fittings, but I know what you're probably talking about. The ones that you like stick in it grabs onto they're expensive like these parts are expensive just the regular brass ones another tip too home depot i got all the brass fittings and everything i even called like the economy plumbing supply all them guys but if you go through the pro desk i got everything for like half off which was sweet through home depot I got a heck of a deal on that 3,000 gallon RO system too. My buddy Doug at Aqua FX hooked me up. The first flood of the night. Yeah. It's been a while since you guys seen a flood. Do shrimp breed true? Are you going to have, or do you have to cull to keep the line going? It depends on the type of shrimp. Definitely depends on the type of shrimp. Um, LRB Shrimp Factory in several months, shrimp and fish. Like, it'll be so awesome just to actually focus on the tank. Like, I spent so much freaking time focusing on maintenance. Like, I, it wasn't becoming that much fun for me because I was not getting any time in the tanks. And if my fish room's not happy, I'm not happy. It all kind of rolls into one. So, it, it's, it's going to be life-changing for me. You said you can use carbon media instead of Excel. Who often do you change the median? Uh, I think they recommend it every month or every few months. I can't remember. I don't do it anymore. I would do both if I was you. Honestly. But I don't use anything like that. Like carbon. Because I don't have the filters, you know. Because can you please take my order down now and let me know when they are ready. I wish I could do like the pre-orders for you, Gold Nugget Placo. I know you really want them. You email me every day. But that, I mean, you'll get them. Trust me, you'll get them. You just got to give me some time. Just got to give me some time. I nearly flooded my room as well. Hope you got it figured out, Taylor. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, 311. Hit that like or dislike, everyone. Yeah, whichever one you prefer. They all count as participation. Super happy for this. Will help your business. Yes, it would have been like no business at all. So you guys would have all, like nobody would be getting my shrimp. Like I would have had to put my tanks up for sale and be like, come on guys, grab what you want, whatever. I don't, I don't know what I would have done. To be honest, I do not know what I would have done. But luckily, we got a refi on the house, and so I got a little loan, and that helped out. How long does it take for cherry shrimp to breed? About a month. Excel kills my Val. Yes, Val can be sensitive to Excel. Um, that's about really the only plant. Subwasser tanks sometimes. It all depends. I've seen it do good, and I've seen it not do good with it. You sell wild endlers, yes, yeah, so I do get the wild endlers. Oh, but I haven't. I'm not selling them yet. I got them. I'm kind of hoarding them, but I will eventually sell them. Of modes, do I have to cuss to get you to answer a question, Adam Paquette? Ask again. You don't have to cuss if you want to, but you don't have to. It's not really necessary. That setup looks pretty good, yeah, yeah. Hoping, hoping. Yeah, I told you guys I was going to... Is the mod suck on this stream? Why are they, they blocking everything? Uh, life goes on, Adam. It'll be alright. 
It must be a dream come true to have your hobby become a business. Yes, it is definitely a dream come true. Has it been easy? No, not at all. To make it actually happen, make it function and work, yeah. It has not been easy. But it is definitely, definitely a dream come true. The fact that I get to stay home with my kid, that's huge. That's huge for me. Then at the same time, do what I love. But yeah. Uh, let's see, you guys are definitely welcome for the video. I have no clue how you've been able to keep that many tanks without an automated system for this long. <laughs> yeah, uh, I about lost my sanity trying to keep up with it. And yeah, just came to the point where I just could not keep up with it, especially with the time going. Have you seen the Super Tuggers? I have seen the Super Tuggers, and I saw one pregnant the other day. There's some baby shrimp in there, but I don't know if they're Blue Dreams or the Super Tuggers. Are you going to the Chicago Experience? Yes, I am planning on going to that. Thank you, Allison Chains, for the nice comment. I live in Missouri, but use tap water, and it's probably close to yours. Will my cherry shrimp be okay? Well, let's see, Missouri, Missouri. No, that's Minnesota, I'm thinking. It all depends, because tap water can be soft, and it, or it can be hard. And I've heard some states have hard water. Some parts of states have soft water. Uh, I, the best thing to do is check your TDS. If you do have hard water, like calcium in it. If you get like tend to get calcium stains and stuff like that, more than likely they'll be good too. But it definitely depends. Alright guys. Missed you. I love your videos. Yes, I will be having lots of videos for you guys. Like... There's been many of videos I'm like, okay, I see this. I'm like, let's hop on real quick, show this to everybody. But it's just, it comes down to time. Like, it's hard for me to just get time. Like, luckily, I, I haven't had my son, I, I'm not saying luckily, but I haven't had my son these last two days, and that's helped me get a lot of work done. So I'm trying to knock it out, and then, then there will be lots of, lots of cool stuff to come super excited all right guys so i'm hopping out here thank you all for watching jumping on saying hi charles you just missed me just hopped on all right guys till next time hope you all have a great night great week all that jazz peace